stupidly epic. <laughs> For many centuries, the Kai Lords defended their kingdom of Somerland from the Dark Lords of Helgadad. Many battles were fought and won by the Kai, but finally came their demise. Three years ago, the Monastery of Your Warrior Order was attacked by the armies of the Dark Lords. The Kai were destroyed. You were the only one who survived the final battle. All seemed lost, but you retrieved the Somersweard, the one weapon that can slay a Dark Lord of Helgadad. You slew Zagana, the Dark Lord leader, and saved your kingdom from destruction. Now, the lesser Dark Lords hunger to take their revenge. It falls to you, the last Kai Lord of Somerland, to crush their evil schemes once more. Hello folks, welcome back to You Got 5 Minutes. Today's game is uh, Joe Dever's Lone Wolf. It's, uh, I've got it on the PS4, but I'm pretty sure I've seen it on Steam and like things like that. It's one of those kind of games that looks like uh, it kind of looks like it was made for like a tablet, like it was you could, could because there's there's all these sort of like while you're in combat and things like that, you've uh, it's, it's almost like they've got the swipe moves and like do do motions with your fingers and things like that. But yeah, it's been translated over to like analog sticks for the PS4. But uh, but yeah, this is a uh, this is like one of those uh, choose your own adventure games. Not for a lot of reading in it, so like if reading is not your thing... See, I'm, I'm not much of a reader myself, but I found myself really invested in this game. There's, uh, there's an awful lot to like in this game. Uh, it's not by any means like what you would call a AAA game or anything like that. It's There's, there's bare minimum voice acting. Uh, I, I think the only voice acting that I've actually seen uh, in the game so far is actually in that intro that you just seen yourself. Uh, <laughs> so so here's a bit of the combat. Uh, the the reason the, the reason the enemies are on fire is because I had uh, chosen as because because like I said it's one of your one of these kind of choose your own adventure kind of games. I'd chosen to make explosives and kind of throw them at the enemies first before combat started. So uh, like uh, I was kind of hiding in the shadows and they never seen me. So I kind of got the jump on them, you know. So like that's the kind of thing that you can get up to. Like in the game, you're able to see, see what I mean about the motions. Yeah, you got quick time events and things like that. Like tap it at the right time. It, it just kind of feels like that kind of like a tablet game. But yeah, like there's there's loads of things that you can do in the game in terms of like multiple choice. At the very start of the game, you get to choose all like what weapons you would carry. Uh, just yeah, just very very good. Uh, it's actually got really nice. Uh, Deep combat, like it, like it's it's just a it's just a, a sort of active time battle system, but there's like you've got loads of options at your disposal. You've got a a, a weapon belt where uh, where you can hold like potions and like bombs and things like that. You've got a you've got a dagger pouch so you can throw daggers. You've got your axes. You've got your summer sword, which is the which is this kind of magical sword. So you've got like looting things like that after each fight. You like you you do your you do your treasure looting and all that. It's very cool. Um, I was very surprised by this game. Yeah, it's even got the Skyrim style like lock picking mini games and all that. There's a uh, there's a a part that I'm at in the game right now. I don't actually have any footage of unfortunately, but I, I mean you could see it in trailers and things like that. There's like cubes that you can kind of shift around and like it's like a puzzle system where you've got to try and slot a cube into something but you've got to make it the right shape first. Um, that's where I am at the, in the game at the moment. I don't don't really have any footage of that though. Um, but yeah, the, the the main brunt of this is like the reading. Like it's, 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 it's a storybook that you're reading through and you're you're playing the part of this, uh, this lone wolf guy and uh, the setup is, is that uh, his his sort of like little town is in uh, is in danger and he gets there just slightly too late it's been overrun by these like gaiac things and uh, almost like goblins or like uh, orcs or whatever and uh, yeah so like you've got to kind of like the the, the first sort of main uh, part of the story as you're going through your town 
sort of uh, helping this uh, this this girl who's like a who's like an engineer, um, and you're and you're gathering these three things that help you escape the town at the like the at the other edge of the town. There's like a there's like a pulley system that takes like uh, coal miners like up and down uh, into the valley below. And uh, she, the, the the teenager girl, she dismantled that thing so that the Gaiax couldn't get back down there. So what you need to do is get the three pieces that she she removed, and uh, take them over to that thing so she can fix it, so you can get down to your people that's in the valley below. Because lo a lot of, a lot of the people during the attack fled uh, to the valley below, uh, and slash or were already down there, like doing their mining stuff. So like. Uh, like, but, but all the like, pretty much all the rest of the village has been destroyed. So yeah, like, ugh, man, it's like it's funny because like looking at trailers and everything on it, it doesn't really do the game justice. Like, I I gave this game a chance because it was on sale, and uh, I'm glad that I did because like I've I've played quite a lot of it. Like, well, I, I say quite a lot. I don't know how long the game is, but uh, but no, yeah, like the. The, the the combat's satisfying. It's not it's not like a, a pushover kind of game as well. Like I've got it I've got it set on normal and I've died quite a lot to like final bosses of like areas and things like that. And uh, had to sort of retry. Uh, so it's not it's not like one of these sort of like you just kinda of walk through it if you if you choose the right things or whatever. Because at some points you like you'll there's this kind of risk reward thing of like uh, should I rest and get my health back? But if you rest and you're out in the open, like you're, you're prone to attack. Like these these Gaiac things will attack you. Like they can attack you uh, while you're resting. So like as you can see in the combat system, though, there's like it's really robust. You've got like all these different like options. Uh, like I've got Call of like Call of the Wild, I think it's called, where you can like summon like wolves and things like that. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, I'm gonna totally use the summer sword though. Killed the total boss guy. Ha. <laughs> yeah. So, man, so cool. Like, like you, you've got like uh, psionic abilities as well. That like, you could telekinesis like boxes into the back of enemies' heads and stuff. Do multiple, multiple rounds of damage and that. Uh, you're able to dual wield axes. Like you, you could choose from swords, axes, or maces. I chose the axes because it says that's the kind of balanced. Uh, that's the kind of balanced approach, so I, I, I kind of prefer to be kind of somewhere in the middle. Like, swords are easy to use, but they're kind of weak, and then the maces are, like, really hard to use, but they're really strong. Uh, so I decided to go for the axes, though. So, but yeah, like, from from the very get-go, you're building your character up. Like, as soon as you start the game, you you create, like, the, the background to your character, and, like, what, what his abilities are, what weapons he uses, and things like that. And, uh... Yeah, it kind of feels like really unique. It kind of feels like you're you're creating something of your own, and I didn't expect like like for me that it's really weird because for me this is like this is a hidden gem, <laughs> and I've never like the only time I've ever came across hidden gems is when I've actually went actively looking for them like on Metal Jesus's channel or something like that like hidden gems or whatever, but I've never heard anybody really talk about this game. And this game's great. <laughs> it's so weird, like, for me to have like sort of just given it a shot because it was on sale on PSN, and then found out that it's like really, really enjoyable. Um, I mean, like, you can see for yourself, like, in terms of animation and things like that, and the way the characters are modelled, it's not, it's not like totally groundbreaking or anything, but it's just, it's really cool, you know, like, like for for what the game is, it's giving you all these like options. Uh, it's giving you like a really compelling sort of like written story that you can read like you're reading along to it like it's a you know like it's like it's a like it's a storybook you know and it's one of these choose your own adventures you can take multiple paths and things like that but guys like that's that's pretty much it like I've just been gushing over this game for like almost 10 minutes now if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to you know like share and subscribe and all that good stuff and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye for now guys bye you are Lone Wolf, wielder of the Summer Sword, slayer of the Gaiac Hordes, subscriber to Stupidly Epic. You just, you know, go on, just, just click it. <laughs>